Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Clentaminator in Terraria. So what this does is it basically gets, it's a tool to get rid of the corruption in your world and to get it you have to go to the Steampunker and to get the Steampunker you have to defeat one of the mechanical bosses in hard mode. So you can see it right here, you can get it for two platinum, it's pretty expensive but it's definitely worth it. And then to use it you need to get some of this green solution and when it's a blood moon it turns into purple solution and what that does is it, is it spreads the corruption instead of the purity. But for now we're going to get the green solution so we're just going to get a bunch of that to show you guys. So here I got 487, which is a lot. Um, and the good thing about the contaminator is it doesn't eat up a lot of the green solution. So it's pretty good that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my corruption that I have in my world. And I'm going to show you how it works and the best way to be using it. So we'll head over there now and I've also done this with my in my world I have three corruptions so I've done that with those two I'll show you when I get over there on the map but right now I'll just head over looks like Romeo the tra traveling merchant has arrived so that's cool um, so right here you can kind of see I have a corruption here and I've used my clintaminator to clean it all and it's been super helpful uh, with doing so. So, so yeah, it's very good. Uh, two platinum, it's expensive, but one of the best ways I find to get gold to buy it is to create a mob trap. So, like you, basically, you get a bunch of statues that have the mobs that can spawn in you hook it up with some wires and then have a one second timer and then whenever that timer goes off each second it'll spawn a mob and then basically what you do is you lay down some lava on the bottom where the statues are and that'll kill off the mobs and then it'll drop all of its loot so then what you do with that is you take all of its loot and then you go to your merchants and then you can sell it to them and some of them drop some really good stuff, like uh, the night vision helmet. If you have, I forget what statue it is, but I have that, and you get two gold for it. So if you get, like, six night vision helmets, then you can get 12 gold, and it's really, really easy. And, yeah, so here we are. Here's my corruption. So I'm just going to show you guys how this thing works so what we do is we get it out and we're just gonna hold down and as you can see it's starting to clean the corruption so I've dug tunnels all around my corruption in preparation for this so that's a very easy way of getting all of the nooks and crannies so yeah we're just going to go through all this and yeah so I'll just be showing you guys how this is done it's pretty simple and you get a good distance with the clintaminator like it's not like the little bags of the stuff that you can buy from the I forget what she's called like the dryad or something but yeah you can get a lot of distance covered with this and yeah it's a very good tool to use so let's just get over here and also it helps that like looking at the map you can see where it's lighting up and where it's actually cleaning so that's very good as well Um. Yeah, so it's a pretty good tool. 
it's pretty self-explanatory not much to this video but just showing you where you get it from and kind of give you an idea of what it's doing let's try to get back up to the surface here so you can see it a bit better just pop over So yeah, it's really satisfying seeing all of the corruption gone and getting your world purified. So as you can see here, all the, these trees go back to normal, all the grass is back. The background starts to change back to normal. So yeah, it's a very good tool to use. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe.